All that aside, I guess we should get into shop news. Um, anything um, as far as shop news goes, check the calendar out for classes. March is pretty light for classes. Uh, wait, should I wait for the graphic to end? Okay, I think graphic ended. March is pretty light for classes just because, like I said, uh, Becky's um, on vacation in a beach somewhere in the, um, I believe it's Aruba. Yeah. We all, our thoughts and prayers are with her there. We all wish we were there with her. Um, but because of that, we also, we just kind of laid on classes for uh, March. Um, we will uh, keep an eye on the calendar. We'll have, we're going to start scheduling in April here probably for a couple weeks. Um, there's some paper piecing and a few other things that we're going to get on there. So that's for classes. As far as fabric goes, we did get some fabric. Just came in about 20 minutes ago, which was kind of fun because we actually ordered it last week. Um, and there were just some odds and ends, so we'll get to those. The real reason for the shipment was because, you see, I wanted to get these panels. So these are some nice uh, New Hampshire panels. You know, I had to get them because they say New Hampshire. It has the important places, Mount Washington, North Conway. And this panel is obviously designed when there was a quilt shop that shall remain unnamed in Center Harbor. <laughs> so Center Harbor also has this spot on there. But it's a really pretty panel. Um, it comes, you've got the two, you've got the, it's going to, one panel has a larger panel. I should have cut this ahead of time. And then what you'll get is two smaller panels in one panel cut. So you can make a really kind of cool little uh, New Hampshire based quilt. It's really cute. Um, we'll look forward to a sample coming up with that. And the other thing that I ordered, this is just random stuff that I order when I, when I have um, fabric reps in here. And I had to order this. This was the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's like library stamps. It's really kind of cool. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. But when I saw it, I'm like, I want to have some of that. So that also came in, um, true to scale. Those stamps are all about the size you'd expect them to be. Um, if you have a librarian in your life, they will probably love this. Or if you have a book person, they'll probably love this. Um, the other two, um, again, because I wanted the library stamps in New Hampshire panel, I had to get enough fabric to make the order worth it. So we just got picked up a couple other random pieces. Um, this was just really cute. Um, I blame Riley for this one. She really wanted it because of the moths and the purple, I guess. Um, but it came out nice. This is a really cute one. This one actually goes really well with um, the, a lot of the tulip pink that we have in. And then here's another one from a color standpoint that um, I don't know if the color's coming through on your monitor really well. But that again, um, these all just came in kind of random. There's not like a cohesive collection here. It's just I wanted a couple of the pieces and to do what I you usually have to get like four or five to make the shipping worth it. Um, so, you know, we'll put some stuff together. We've got lots of basics that make stuff like that work. So, that's the new fabric that came in. That's all the excitement there. And then as far as um, sewing machines, if you are looking for a sewing machine or know somebody that is, we do have stock on the PS700s, the PS500s, and the BQ950. I've got stock on all of those. Um, I also have, I still have a Dreamweaver that came in that we're doing for a really reasonable price if you're looking to upgrade into a or just get into um, embroidery. The Dreamweaver does have the big throat that does the eight by 12 hoop. So that's something to uh, consider. We've got one of the, we've got that sitting on the floor looking for a new home. So there's that. Which camera am I on, Eddie? This one or that one? That one? Wow, I should sit up straight. I look funny in there. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> that's, this is hard to do when you're all alone. Uh, I don't have anybody to pick on me. So it's just my foolishness. So that's all we really have for shop news. Did I forget anything?